What is up, MFers? Welcome back to a very rainy episode. I am down in rainy Kansas with the man, the myth, the legend, Brian from Kansas Angling Experience. And you guys know what that means. That means we're about to go stick some slaunches. Oh my God, dude. Oh, oh they're, my God, they're blowing up at the bit. They're blowing good? up right here. here Get in there. I'm doing it. <laughs> All right, that's the, uh, that's the end of the intro. Actually, I'm gonna leave this on. Let's catch some fish in the background. Okay, we didn't catch any quite yet, but they're freaking, there's fish blowing up in the marina cove here. I'm down here at Kansas, like I told you, with Brian, and we are, uh, we're going out in the middle of the lake. It's raining right now. I think it's supposed to let up a little bit, but he's been on a fire bite uh, for walleye, wiper, white bass, a little bit of everything. I brought some big swim baits. We got a little bit of whopper plopper topwater bite action going on. Might even troll some live bait drifter. <laughs> I don't even know. A little bit of everything. We're going to do a little bit of everything, just like we always do. Let's go. because the wind is blowing like 392 miles an hour. We're, we're out here pulling some bottom bouncers. Kind of cool, something I've obviously from fishing my entire life, I know of bottom bouncers. Something I've never actually done before though. So basically it's like a, I'll just show you the rig, but it's like a long wire with a weight on it, like a three-way rig and then like a five foot leader or so and a little spinny thing and a night crawler. This is how you catch the walleye here, but obviously you're gonna catch some, some white bass and wipers. And Brian says a lot of drum and a little catfish too. So we're just kind of uh, kind of slowly trying to manipulate the boat down a, a rocky area. And catch whatever will bite the daggum hook. Deep are we? Do, well, it's like 11 here. Oh, it's not but bad. But usually the rule is like one ounce. Yep. God, I'm so good at this. We got a white bass action going. Yep, psycho. We're on the board! And it's not a drum. Let's see if I can high stick your rod. Not a bad whitey. And I kept my crawler. There we go, folks. Bottom bouncing 101. There we go. No way. Yep. Yes way. We could have a Walter on our hands. Nope. Whitey. I felt him thumping it. I should have known it was just uh, one of these guys. Hey, look at that. Spark shed, white bass, war baits head. Hey, my tail didn't get tore off. It's amazing. Yeah. There it is. Swim bait, huh? This jerk was throwing a jigging wrap and then he flipped out the old swimming bait. How can you tell if you have one on? Is that a snag or a fish? Yep. Yep. Getting us going. Is that a tarpon? Yes. That were. is indeed a tarpon. First wipage on the swimming bait. Hell yeah. You guys probably can't hear anything that's happening, but the screen is loaded, so uh, we're gonna get back in there. Yeah. Yes. That's a big one. <laughs> Oh my God, are you serious? <laughs> oh, I have no drag. No drag. I literally <laughs> 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 What a mess. <laughs> Brian got his line wrapped in the trolling motor. Thankfully it's just a white just bass. Just a white bass. <laughs> okay. <laughs> got his line wrapped in the trolling motor. It's around about 700 miles right now and had a fish on the other end. We can't catch him when we're trying. No rod, no real challenge. Got him. Oh God. Oh, yeah, that's a wiper. That's a wiper. He freaking choked it. Oh, oh no. no. I was going to say I high stick the Why shit out of him. Later on. <laughs> Amateur hour. Dude, that bait is down his throat. I didn't even break it on a good one. Oh. Well, worth it for a fun fish. Like it. Minus the rod. Sorry, Rod. I 
don't know if that's a wiper. Double! And I still have a third line out. Oh, uh, yeah. And we're in each other. Three rods! <laughs> Three rods at the same time. <laughs> You're gonna get a fish on the third one too. It's probably in one of us though. Uh, I think. You think so? Yeah, he's at the. Oh! Doubles! Keep, keep tension, Dad. How can you tell if you have one on? Okay, back to landing. <laughs> Doubles! God, they're so loaded. I got it. Yes! <gasps> Two fish at the same oh time. God, dude. That's what I'd do if I had a million dollars. That's fantastic. Unreal. Choking the swim bait. Wow. Sickness. <laughs> I'd say we're on them. <laughs> Took us a minute, but uh, yeah, I think we're here now. Dude, sick. Beauty. I'm, I'm out here a little bit. I'm going to tie. The oh, God. Just dead sticking dead it? Sticking it. On the jig and wrap, yeah. God, oh, that's crazy. That was. Oh, you got a kitten on there. Gross. Little kitten fish. Oh, blue cat with all them Little shabby slime shabby. action, yeah. Yep. Got him. Take your time. It'll be a while. One of these guys, huh? Big one. Dude. Seriously. Giant. Taking me out to sea, huh? Dude, I don't know what this is, but it's giant. Two seconds. Oh my god. Oh, oh my god. Tank! Giant! Holy balls. Dude, that's like a what, eight pounder? Oh, oh, oh my god, on a little tiny swim bait. It's in there somewhere. I'll show it to you guys in about an hour when I get it out. <laughs> oh. That thing's as wide as it is long. Seriously. Look at that thing. Oh my god. Hank Zilla. <laughs> Baby. <laughs> <laughs> you go from like just like chilling and struggling to just like tying into a freaking cinder block every single time you hook one of those. Yep. Yep. You just couldn't sit back and wait another yeah, minute. Good. You had to get your own. I still got to pee, too. God. <laughs> you could probably go back there and pee while you fight it. You got a while. Oh, my God. Oh my God. Got him. Yeah, where's your swim bait? Yeah. Were you fishing with nothing? You just ate your line? Oh, nope, nope, there's a bait in there. Man, it's a good thing they don't have teeth because they would be uh, chewing the line. Choke city. Hell yeah, man. Good. That's badass, so that'll be fun at those arcs. Oh, shit. Definitely a smallmouth. Smallmouth zebra. Yep. Oh, balls. Sweet. Swimming bait. Sexy. Yep. Got another crappie. <laughs> Where are we going, buddy? Yep. Sickness, and you're impossible to hold on to. Just a baby. Well, you guys probably can't hear anything I'm saying at all. But this here is the rig tonight um, that we're whacking them on. I caught some on a big swim bait too. But this one, I just caught that giant one on. It's only like a 3 8 ounce head, you said, Brian? Yeah. And then a, a little 3 inch, 3.8 inch swimming bait that I've shown you guys on videos in the past. Thread it on there. I don't know. It's really tough. You got to cast it out, let it sink to the bottom. We're actually fishing like 40 feet of water. I got my back to where we're fishing because the wind's blowing so hard. We're fighting like three footers tonight. Trolling motor is uh, 
spot locked right where we need to be. We're right in the middle of a freaking channel, fishing 40 feet down. These wipers are loaded down there. If you can get this little bait in front of them, it is uh, game over. No more swim bait. Goodbye. God dang. I'm getting sure if he wants to be big or not yet. Not like the big one, but pretty stout one. <laughs> Pretty angered one. Damn, that's that's a, yeah, that's that's a big. One. Yeah, he grew. <laughs> he uh, he grew as he came close to the boat. Here. Don't even do it. That's just a, a meaty guy. Spinning tackle, giant zebra fish with this dude. You guys gotta come do it. Oh my god. See you, dude. Could have been the same one, could it? Just a basic. Oh, he's got some weight. Oh uh, yeah, he's a heavy one. Oh, my oh God, just kidding. Thing. He's he's a little girthy. He's been eating a few chads down there. And now he wants to bite my hand off. Fatty. See you later. Obviously, I am back in Nebraska, no more Kansas, unfortunately. Had an amazing time in Kansas, both doing a little bit of bank fishing in the morning and then getting down and fishing with Brian from Kansas Angling Experience. In the evening, uh, a typical night with Brian, we, we went out and absolutely smashed him. Now, I do apologize for all the wind noise. It was seriously blowing like 20 miles an hour the entire night, which made things a little bit rough out on the water. And that made the presentation really, really difficult as well. We started off with some of the bottom bouncers and stuff, went offshore and hit some rock piles that were kind of out of the wind to see if we could fish somewhere that wasn't in the three foot waves. And there wasn't really much going on in those areas. So we went out to a main lake channel area where Brian had been seeing some fish, catching some fish the last week or so. And it just so happened, as you guys saw, that the big old wipers were stacked in that area. We were fishing that little tiny swim bait, like a 3 8 ounce jig head on that, down like 35 to 40 feet down in the water column. Had to cast up into the wind, let that bait sink down there. It, it was a difficult way to fish and a difficult way to present your bait to fish. But obviously, as you guys saw, we ended up catching a bunch of really, really good fish as I do every time I go fish with Brian. So if you guys are in the Kansas area, the Midwest, really anywhere, he has people from all over the country come in to fish with him because he is the best at what he does. I'll link his guide service down below. They'll go check out Brian, everything that he is doing. Now, as for me, still getting the boat worked on. So hopefully the next couple days, fingers crossed, we will be getting the old bass boat back and I can actually get out and do some fishing offshore. But for now, we're doing some bank fishing stuff, some bow fishing stuff. If you guys want to see the bow fishing stuff, let me know. Something I told you guys uh, I was really enjoying the last few times I got out and shot the old bow. Uh, and I also got a couple more exciting things coming for you guys as well. Some exciting news. But thank you guys so much for watching this video. And I'll catch you either tomorrow or the next day with another one. I'm out of here. Peace. I'm not sorry. I can't help this love like mine. <laughs> I'm not sorry. I can't stop with a love like mine.